Okay, we're going to talk about the startup and shutdown procedures for the MIDI Toyota CMM. So on the module before, you'll have this sheet of paper, how to start up the Crystal Apex 7106. So we will start. Number one, cut on air supply. The air supply is back here. You'll hear it running. Um, this valve may be shut. It shouldn't be, but it may be. Just make sure you got air coming through it. All right. Number two. Number two. Cut on the power switch. This is the power switch. This is the power switch for the main CMM, not the computer. Once you hear it, you'll hear it go through some beeping, some cycling. All right, and then you'll see AB650. We will talk about that in a minute. Number three, start the MCosmos software. Come over here. MCosmos is down here or right here. So let's go here and wait for it. All right, the software has been started. All right. Number four, the display should read ABSO or it looks like A650, but it's actually ABSO, which means absolute. So don't do anything as far as after you do the, after you start the MCosmos software until you see ABSO, A650, whatever you want to call it. Number five, press start on the joystick. That is this button. This will initialize the homing procedure of the CMM, very similar to on the CNC mills where, it's, where it says start up. This is your start up on the CMM. When you do that, it will f go up in the Z first and home. Then it'll go over in the X. and then it's set to home. Once it does all that, you'll see 100, which means it is ready to go. Number six says, wait for the machine to home, back top left. After homing, the machine is ready to run. Okay, so the machine is ready to run right now. Let's talk about taking hits on parts. So you move the stylus around let's drop the Z so you move it around with your joystick we kind of went over this one of the other videos I'm just going to use this random part sitting up on here all right enter learn mode on the software we need to we need to pick a program. I would suppose, I would suggest using new part one because if you use anything else, you will overwrite their program and you don't want to do that. New part means, basically, it's basically means junk. Um, so it's nothing that we want to say. So enter learn mode, we have two modes. We've, we've highlighted it and now we want to go to if you hover, it will tell you what it is. Learn mode and repeat mode are the two biggest icons we're gonna be using in this software. Enter learn mode. Let it think. All right, if you go back to the sheet, press enter through the first three screens. Sorry for the such movement. Enter. This is the coefficient expansion we talked about in the earlier video. We just enter through that. So startup wizard. Um, don't worry about it. We will read in five decimal places an inch. Just enter 
This one you can change probe, but we don't want to get into that right now. Finish. So that's why I say enter through the first three screens. Then the sheet says we can we can drive, we can measure this thing without doing a major setup. If we just want to bring a part up in here, we can measure it. Let's just say we want to measure a circle. Now it may not be as accurate as if you do an alignment, which we'll get into later, but you can measure simple things. So let's just measure a circle. Right now it is set up for uh, four hit, no, eight hits. Let's change that to four. And automatic, I don't want that. Hit okay. Now, this is telling you it is waiting on hit one of a circle. So let's go back to here, take this part down, put it right here, let's drive it. We just want to measure that circle. Let's drop it in. I like to go into the middle, just somewhere randomly down here. Um, enter measure mode on our joystick. Remember we can do it here, here, or here. It's got to be an L. Drive the stylus into the part at 90 degrees to wherever you're going. So circles are pretty easy. You can go up. As soon as you hear it, let go. Back. Go back up to the middle and go here. Now, looking here, it's waiting on hit three out of four hits. So let's hit three. We're still in measure mode. All right, still in measure mode. All right, so let's go back over here. It has given us our four hits. This is a, um, Tolerance bar, I forgot to cut that off. We're not gonna be using it to begin with. Just hit okay right now. Don't worry about the numbers in there. Um, but you can tolerance things and we'll get into that more in depth. So as you can see the results, the diameter is 0.74573 is the diameter of that circle. It's got a circularity of three and a half tenths um but we'll get into that more but that was just bringing it in here doing a quick little measurement of a circle we didn't set up we didn't align nothing we just wanted to take it up to see them in room measure it see what you get and that's basically what we did all right so once we've been through that when we finish taking the hits x out of the software so we're not going to save anything so we'll, let's go up here to x we want to close the software out I don't want to save it. I want to delete it because it's junk. All right. How to shut down. Don't worry about where the probe is located on the machine. I will say I would like for, I don't like to leave the probe down. Um, kind of like CNC machine. So just, just come up somewhere. Doesn't matter where you're at in X and Y. Get rid of the Cosmos software. All right, turn off the power here. I don't worry about pressing emergency stop. I just kill the power. And then we go over here and kill the air. It'll drain down. All right, we've already went through three ways to put the control in the measure mode. The two main icons I've told you all about was the learn mode and repeat mode. We're going to be in learn mode for half the semester. Then we'll probably get into repeat mode after we've written some programs. Right now, today, all I did was measure a hole. I didn't write a program. I just used it to measure it. So anyway, that is how to start up and shut down the Krista Apex 7106.